it. Let's see what we got. Okay. I don't know. Right, guys, I don't know how the exposure is going to work on. All right, guys, I don't know how the exposure is going to work on this because I'm using an older phone because my newer phone busted a speaker. And then when I got uh, the speaker replaced, I reckon the microphone was in with it. And it doesn't always give good, um, what do you call it, good sound, good recordings. Sometimes it sounds real funny. I've made a couple of videos and posted them. And, you know, nobody said anything or whatever, but. Um, I'm just going to try this, but the exposure keeps getting wonker with it. I don't <laughs> I don't know how to say that. It just goes up and down, bright and dark, bright and dark. Um, I try to set it manually, but it do doesn't really work out great. Um, but anyway, today I'm going to be cooking some stuff. I came down here, I forgot my, forgot my chair, so I'm having to sit on a brick. I got my old cooler down here that's been here for, I don't know, maybe, probably at least five years. Got me a cup and try to make some coffee. Little cup and bowl set right there. This is just a can. Probably what I'm going to do with it. Cut the bottom out and put on the bottom of this to try to help in case if this drops. Here is some bacon. And this is some milk. Here's some grits. Now I've already got some uh, salt and pepper, butter, and some garlic powder mixed in here. So when I get when I get the water boiling, I'll put, pour that in there, and then it uh, start melting everything, soaking up. Goodness gracious. Sounds like somebody's got the, a zero turn up there going now. That's what you get for shooting in your backyard, I reckon. We've got this new hammock. Not new, I got it probably over a year ago. Never even set it up. And I got this at Aldi. I'll show you show you it in a little bit in a later video. I may do it down here today, but I won't upload it probably till later. Okay. And what I'm gonna use today this is a little frying pan that came with a, another pot. Let me, let me show you that. Wow, I know. Came with this. So. That sits in like that. You got a lid, and it came with this. But, um, I got it at a state park. Don't know what brand it is, but I've seen stuff just like this on Amazon. I think I paid like twenty dollars for it. Um, the other item that I bought with a twenty percent off at REI is this. See the Summit um, Alpha Pot, which is a 1.9 liter. So, it's got this swinging lid right here that, that I wasn't really used to. But you just snap it over and it locks. Then you pull it and it unlocks. So, this is what I'm going to be basically cooking in. I'm going to try to fry, I don't know how I'm going to fry the bacon. <laughs> I've only got one, only brought down to one stove. So, I'm looking at myself, but the little camera's right over here on the side. I need to start looking over there. And, I don't know 
know if I've ever showed this. I think I have. This is my Primal Ridge stove system. It's like a jet ball knockoff. I got it in this little bag to, so I can get it out of the that bag easier. I don't think I'll need it right now. I'm going to use it in a little bit to uh, heat my water up for the coffee. You get the other part that comes with that primal ridge. And it's this. What it is, somehow it just it's right on the stove. Like so, so you can put a pot on it. Here's my MSR. Hold on. Okay. It might be leaking a little bit. I don't know. my MSR pocket rocket 2 I have a lighter uh, let me I'll be a little jumpy here I hit these little lighters with my fingers getting that close to a burner Second, what's this? Pour some of the milk in there. Yeah, I don't know how non stick this is going to be. But Things not cooking bacon so good. Yeah, take with it. It's just getting too too brown right there, and I don't like it, and I don't want it to stick and and then get it to where I can't even use this thing. So bacon. Bacon is gone. That's what it did to my pan. So, I'm not gonna be eating bacon. I'll just, I'll just make my grits. I'm gonna get my food. I wasn't going to put it in that little bowl and eat it, but I'm just going to eat it right out of here. See how it tastes. I may not make no uh, coffee right now. I didn't had a couple of cups. So, you can use my wood spoon. We'll see how this these grits taste. Like I said, I didn't add anything to it once I got down here. So, I wish I had some bacon, but I wasn't going to cook no bacon, finish cooking bacon and that. I need to try to figure out how I'm going to clean it. So. Anyway, let's see how it goes. Oh, and I will tell you the ingredients after I taste it. Mm. Okay. 
but good. Not as good as I've made before, because over at the house, I just add a little bit of stuff to it. But this is like a one serving thing of grits. Those are just like the quick grits. Not the instant, but the quick. Um, maybe a tablespoon, a little over a tablespoon of butter. Um, some salt. I just added what I thought that I would like. Some black pepper. And then a little bit of garlic powder. And that's what I normally put in my grits. I used to not do that until, I don't know, it's a few months ago I was making grits and I just decided to have, I'm going to put some uh, some garlic powder in there. That made it good. It seems like the milk also makes it a little bit creamier. I think I put a little bit too much salt in it. It's pretty salty. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. And thanks for watching.